Hey everyone, Matt Stevens, Kelly Lyle from the Colorado and here outside the CSU football practice field. The team practiced inside today, but we were able for one time this spring to watch the whole thing. And with that in mind, we thought we'd kind of look ahead to the guys we thought are going to be the biggest contributors of this spring. Of course, we have a story coming out Sunday talking about how we usually miss on these guys and often there are stars in the spring who don't quite pan out in the fall, but looking at the spring, so far from the guys you've seen, who have you really liked? You know, that you don't get to see a ton, but uh, I, I like what I see from some of these new guys, actually. Maybe it's because I'm focusing more on them, but, uh, you know, Akeithian Whit Whitner, uh, cornerback, a JC cornerback, he's already had a couple interceptions. Um, I'm told I didn't get to see them all, but today watching Jordan Vaden, the guy who's changing positions, mm -hmm. wide receiver to cornerback, he had a nice pick late, um, seems to be adjusting to being on the other side of the ball. Um, you know, one of the guys that we're going to talk about being one of those spring stars a couple years ago that never did much, looked really good today, Bryce Peters, at running back, you know, he... Uh, he seems like a pretty solid guy, but he's behind Dalen Dawkins and Izzy Matthews right now, and they're proving what they've done on the field. Um, it's just it's going to be interesting to see all these guys. I was watching a little bit uh, Houston Haynes at safety, another JC guy. He looked like he was, you know, a little bit lost, but 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 looks like he's got some good physical skills. Some of these guys, when you watch the individual drills, you really see some nice things. Colin Hill throws a really nice football. He's a true freshman. He's not going to be your quarterback yeah. this fall. There's too much for him to learn, but boy, he's got some really nice physical skills that are going to, I think, translate into being a really good quarterback if he can get the mental part of it down and learn this offense. And uh, those are some of the guys that jumped out at me. Who are some of the guys you noticed that really jumped out? Um, early in practice today, and again, we talk about guys who look good in the spring. Jonathan Lewis, running back out of Texas yeah. a couple of classes ago, was really just, they were, they were doing kind of, kind of the Oklahoma drill. And guys were just going nuts. He was breaking breaking through through barriers there. And, you know, he's a running back who's, you look, you got Bryce Peters ahead of him, but you also have uh, you have Izzy Matthews, you got Dalen Dawkins, and as Coach Bobo said after practice today, you got a few more guys who are coming in and really want to push these guys. But I thought he looked pretty good. Um, the wide receiver Elroy Masters, and I asked Bobo this at practice. He's he's not going to be at contact this spring because that that shoulder injury he had last year, excuse me, broken collarbone. But he had. It wasn't quite a catch. He did end up dropping, but in coverage, just this great one-handed bobble come down, try to trap it against, you know, his opposite butt cheek, and just in the end zone couldn't get. But I asked Bobo, how's he looking? He's got can't you can't hit him, but his his movement, and he so he's got a really great movement. He's a guy that I think CSU is really going to need this season without Joe Hansley, without obviously Rashard Higgins, who's who's going to be drafted in the NFL. So I really thought those two guys in terms of today stood out to me, but. Like I said, always spring stars, you never yeah. really know. But uh, those are a couple guys that uh, I really enjoy watching. Any, any finishing thoughts for you? You know, that was really just kind of it. It was kind of nice to watch a full practice. Granted, it was their first day in pads. There were some mistakes. There, You're not going to see a finished product. But it was a little bit nice to just get a little bit of a feel, especially some of these new guys, to get to watch them in some full team drills and see how they fit in. Some of the guys that had changed positions. Braylon Scott at safety. Mm -hmm. He was a seldom used corner last year, played a lot on special teams. I think he could be a decent safety for him. I mean, he's got some good size, some good speed. He's an amazing athlete. I watched him play high school basketball back in Bakersfield uh, before he came here. And uh, there's some, you know, there, there's a lot of guys like that that there's some real talent on that team, whether they can get it all together get it when they need it, get the right guys into the right positions. That's a lot. That's what they have to work on between now. But I think the overall talent level looks pretty decent to me for a spring. Absolutely. No, no scrimmage yet. The first scrimmage is uh, next Saturday. So that makes it up the 9th the of 9th. April. Get to see some stats, see how these guys really hype them up more before, you know, maybe they'll fizzle off. Hopefully not, but you never know. It's spring ball after all. But uh, for the Colorado one, I'm Matt Stevens. He's Kelly Lyle. Thanks for watching.